South Sudan's government has denied UN allegations that it refused to grant visas to UN personnel traveling to the country. Here's CGTN's Patrick Oyet with more. Juba says it has been fully cooperating with the UN since it gave its consent to the deployment of the Regional Protection Force. South Sudan's government denies it refused to issue visas for the UN personnel due to come into the country. The government says as soon as it learned of the accusation, it launched an investigation into the matter. It was discovered that there was a, a report which was written by some, by, uh, by Unimis, saying that, uh, that the government of South Sudan has stopped or refused to give, to give, uh, to give uh, visas to, to, to UNAMIS police. And that, that was investigated and turned out not to be true. And we have received a letter of apology from the UNAMIS to that effect. South Sudan's government says it's working to improve its relationship with the UN and that its position on the additional 4,000 troops has also not changed. Juba says the UN will be free to send the troops in once the technical details currently under discussions are complete. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.